The spider will be here any minute. The wing. Come on, boy. Land only long enough to load the specimen gold aboard. Mike, while I attend to these rats. <laughs> Calling location three. Calling location three. Nick Tracy stopped us again. We were unable to get the specimen gold. I am returning at once. I'm glad to see you, gentlemen. We took the liberty of having your servant let us in. I was anxious to know if you'd had any luck concerning Gordon. No. I had any trace of my brother. But I'm sure I'm on the right track. The spider ring is responsible for his disappearance. If you can think of anything we can do to help you, just call on us. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Good afternoon. Hello? Oh, hello, Chief. What? Yes. The daughter of H. Teach Layton, the famous aviation expert. Ought to be there any minute. She'll tell you the setup. All right, I'll see what it's all about. Goodbye, sir. Better comb your hair, Mike. We're going to have a caller. A girl. Oh, boy. I hope she's beautiful. Is Mr. Tracy in? Why, yes, Miss Clayton. He's expecting you. Tracy? And you're Miss Clayton? Yes. This is my assistant, Mr. Lockwood. How do you How do? You do? Well, it's all right, Miss Clayton. We all work together. So you may feel free to tell us what brought you here. It's my father, Mr. Tracy. I'm worried about him. Well, won't you sit down? Thank you. Now tell me what it's all about. Well, you see, Dad's been working on a new high-speed plane. Something much faster than anything ever flown before. We've been working in the utmost secrecy, and the hangar's been under guard day and night. I see. Well, I've had a feeling for some time that, that something was wrong. Dad only laughed at me and told me I was imagining things. Then, last night, someone broke into the house, and they rifled his desk. Someone after the plan of his motors? Yes, I'm sure that was what brought them there. <laughs> Worthless. All of them worthless. They don't tell my government anything that isn't already known. But, Excellency, they were stolen from Clayton's private desk. They must be what you wanted. 
They don't reveal the secret of the plane's great speed. That is what I wanted, and that is what you must obtain for me, or else I... Or else what, my dear Excellency? Or else I must contact the dirigible to pick me up at once and return to my country. My government will pay well for the secret of Clayton's new motor, but for these useless papers, nothing. I said I would get it for you. That should be sufficient. I will expect word when you have accomplished our agreement today. See me? If we fail to get the secret of Clayton's new plane, our negotiations with Durston's government will come to nothing. Can you supply him with those plans? I can do better than that. I'll deliver the plane itself. Tell me, Gordon, how will you get this plane for us? The police are guarding it. To today, it takes off on its final test flight. Who knows? It may fly right into our hands. Hello, dear. Hello, Daddy. Daddy. This is Mr. Tracy. Mr. Tracy is from the Department of Justice. Happy to meet you, Mr. Tracy. How do you do, sir? I thought now I told... Now, don't scold, Daddy. You know how worried I've been, and especially after last night. I appreciate your being here, Mr. Tracy, but really there's no cause for alarm. The plane is amply guarded. Your daughter tells me you were robbed last night. Yes, but they'll never get any of my secrets that way. They? You know... In a revolutionary invention such as mine, there are bound to be lots of people interested. I'm turning the plans over to our government tonight, if Betty's last test flight proves successful. You? Are you the test pilot? Why, certainly. I'm the only one who has ever handled the ship. Now, you'd better run along, get into your flying togs. Well, I'll be ready when you are, Dad. Come along, Gwen. I haven't trusted it out of the family. Besides, you have to know your ship pretty well when you're flying 700 miles an hour. 700 miles an hour? Yes, would you like to go up with Betty and see how it handles? I certainly would. You think they'll let us go too? What, ride in that thing? Me? Everything ready? Plenty of gas and oil? Mr. Tracy's going with you, dear. Oh, fine. Bye. Now, you folks better step clear of this propeller blast. They'll be taking off now. Well, happy landings, Dick. Women drivers in automobiles is bad enough. Heaven help old Tracy up there in that crate. Now. About 500. I'll open her up now. She's turning over perfectly. I think I'll go back to the airport now. No, you won't. Keep her head in the way she is. Keep your hands up till I get the control. I don't know how I can ever thank you for this. That's all right, Mr. Clayton. I think this is the work of the spider ring. It was not difficult to smuggle our man aboard the plane. By now, he should be... You may enter. The plane has arrived. Something went wrong. Our man was captured. I saw the plane land. Dick Tracy had him. Dick Tracy again, eh? The 
Dellinger will fix me up tomorrow morning. I must have either the plane or its plans before that time. And this plan shows a sectional view of the new wing design. Well, I'll certainly be glad when these plans are out of our possession. Clayton? Nope, I'm not Mr. Clayton. Mr. Clayton over there. Oh. Good evening. Mr. Clayton? Yes, sir. I'm John Henderson, Bureau of Aeronautics. Oh, yes. I've been expecting you, Mr. Henderson. Now we're all anxious to get down to business? Yes, I have the plans right here. I'll get them. Aren't you afraid those plans might be stolen? It wouldn't do the thief any good. I'm the only man who can decipher the code they're in. So you're from the Bureau of Aeronautics? Why, yes, Mr. Tracy. How's the old Joe Williams getting along down there these days? Oh, Joe, he's coming along great. Expect promotion for him any time. Joe Williams had been dead for two years. You're not from the Bureau of Aeronautics. Better put those plans in a safe place, Mr. Clayton. Mike, get Steve. Tell him I got some of the spider's men. Okay, Chief. Stop and all I got for was dirt. That isn't dirt, it's mud. Well, I got it off the car. What's the matter? I can have it clean. It's dry as a bone here. Maybe that's it. Let's call the Weather Bureau and find out where it's rained recently. Where has it rained heavily in this district this afternoon? Thanks. It rained this afternoon in the mountains around Caribou Pass. Caribou Pass? Well, that's where the old Beachwood Hotel is. I only had a quick way of getting there. Dead speed plane. Use that. It's worth a try. So you still refuse to translate your plans for us, do you? from this sample of his writing? Sure, Chief. Write a little note to his daughter. I think we can get her to pay us a visit. You wouldn't do that! No. I'll tell you what to write. I'll do it. I thought you'd see it my way. And I am. Now get busy. I expect you to have everything ready by daylight.
along with Dick Tracy. Get the motor! 